In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to create a customized background to title text. We have on the screen a clip of an aerial shot of a canyon, and what I'd like to do is take this shot and put a title on it, but also put a background, and a background that I can move with the title. Now we might assume we can do this all in the title room, but let me show you the limitations of that. If I click on the T or press the F7 key, I'll take a title and drag it down to a higher numbered track. And we'll double click on this to get into our title designer. I'll take my title and I'll simply call it Canyon for now. And we'll make it bold so it appears very easily on the screen. Now, what I can do is I can also put an object in my title, in the same title track. So I'm going to click on the fourth icon from the left, which says Insert Image. Then it will go to my default place. Let's take this grungy background, click on that, and click on Open, or I could double click. And it places it in the center of the screen. I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to turn off the fade. I don't know why that's automatically turned on, but it is. Then I'll take my object settings, click on the right arrow on the left side, and we want to turn off maintain aspect ratio. Now, if this were a, a regular picture, I wouldn't do that because it would distort it. But in this case, it doesn't hurt. So we're going to drag to the left and then drag to the right. And we could also adjust the height a little bit if we wanted to. And we can't see our text. Why? Well, that's because Canyon is on the higher track and my grungy background is on the lower one. We want the Canyon, the text, to be on the, the most visible track. Easy way to change that? I move the mouse to the left of the track and then I click on it with the left mouse button and it turns into a hand. I hold it down and drag it up and I can move any of the tracks higher or lower by using this process. So now Canyon is on top of my background. Now we might think we can go ahead and keyframe them both. But if you notice, if I click the right arrow here, I can position keyframe the, the title. For example, I'll set a position keyframe at the beginning and we'll move over a little bit into the project and I'll set another position keyframe and with the time indicator still there I'll actually move it so it'll have a different value and when I play this I will see the text for Canyon uh, move during the course of the clip however if I go back and look on my object there is no way to keyframe it there are no keyframe controls for the object to match that so we're going to right click here and I'll remove that second keyframe and we can leave the first one in there for now and I'll click on OK. What can I do since I can't move them together? Let me show you a shortcut. We're going to go up and we're going to turn off the video clip. Then I'm going to, I can go anywhere in my clip with the title and click on the picture of the camera. We're going to take a snapshot of the screen here. So I'll click on that and it will take that snapshot. I want to call it Canyon 1. And we'll save it. With that done, I'm actually finished with the title. So I'm going to click on it and delete it. I can turn my video clip track back on again so I can see it and we're going to go back into our media room. We'll notice that when I took that snapshot and saved it as Canyon 1, it saved it in the media room. I'll take it and drag it down to my lower track here. And now one of the things that I can do with this is I can crop it. It's an image. So with it highlighted, I'm going to click on the crop tool. And so long as it is a form of square or rectangle, I can make this work. If it were irregular, I couldn't do that. But I'll click on Freeform, and then we will crop this image. I've actually enlarged the screen so I can see better exactly what I'm doing. 
and it looks like I have the corners just about right. So I will click on OK and now I have cropped the canyon image and notice I have a new one called Canyon 1 with a zero behind it. This is my new smaller image. And so what I can do now is I can take this and resize it and we'll double click on it and now I notice that I have keyframe controls for both the text and the background. We'll set a position keyframe, move slightly into the project and set another position keyframe. Let me also set on each one a scale keyframe too. We could set opacity, we could do rotation, and I'll take it and uh, move to the second set of keyframes, and we'll move it, and we'll make it slightly smaller. And now the background and the text are tied together because it's one object. And so during the course of the video, that's how it plays. So this is a way you can do this without exiting PowerDirector and going into a graphic program of one kind or another, which is what I normally would do. But you can do this entirely inside of CyberLink PowerDirector, provided that the text and the image are some form of square or rectangle shape. But it's a nice way to stay inside the program and accomplish this task.